Ayn Rand's novel We the Living presents a gripping portrayal of individualism versus collectivism, set against the backdrop of post-revolutionary Russia. The novel, first published in 1936, is Rand's debut and establishes many of the philosophical themes she would explore in her later works, particularly her staunch advocacy for individualism and personal freedom. The narrative follows Kira Arganova, a young woman whose desire for personal freedom and happiness stands in stark opposition to the oppressive collectivism of Soviet Russia. Kira's story is both a personal and political one, revealing how the totalitarian regime suppresses individual desires and ambitions for the sake of state control. Her journey is marked by a struggle against a system that demands conformity and sacrifices personal goals for the collective good. Kira's character is defined by her intense drive for self-fulfillment and independence. From the outset, she is portrayed as a fiercely ambitious individual, determined to achieve her dreams despite the constraints imposed by the socio-political environment. Her passion is most evident in her aspirations to become an architect, a profession that represents both her personal ambition and her desire to create and build in a society that seeks to limit personal achievements to the benefit of the state. Throughout the novel, Rand juxtaposes Kira's individualism with the collective ethos of the Soviet regime. The narrative explores how the state's enforcement of conformity and the suppression of personal freedom create a society where individual aspirations are stifled. Kira's interactions with other characters highlight the various ways in which the regime impacts individuals differently. Her relationships with Leo Kovalinsky and Victor Deneve, two men who embody different responses to the regime, further explore the personal costs of living under such a repressive system. Leo, who initially shares Kira's desire for personal freedom, becomes disillusioned and seeks to escape the country. His character demonstrates the disillusionment and despair that many face when their ideals clash with harsh realities. Victor, on the other hand, represents the surrender to the regime's demands. He embodies the individuals who sacrifice their personal desires and integrity for social acceptance and safety. Through these characters, Rand illustrates the spectrum of responses to totalitarian oppression, from resistance to acquiescence. The novel also delves into the theme of sacrifice and its impact on the human spirit. Kira's struggle against the regime is marked by personal sacrifices, including her relationships and her dreams. The state's demand for sacrifice extends beyond the individual to affect those around Kira, creating a pervasive atmosphere of fear and repression. This environment stifles creativity and personal growth, highlighting Rand's critique of collectivist ideologies that prioritize the collective over individual rights. Rand's depiction of the Soviet regime is both a critique of totalitarianism and a philosophical exploration of the nature of individual freedom. The novel's portrayal of a society where the state exerts total control over personal choices serves as a warning against the dangers of collectivist policies. By emphasizing the personal and emotional toll of living under such a regime, Rand advocates for the importance of individual freedom and the right to pursue personal happiness. The novel's conclusion is both tragic and revealing. Kira's ultimate fate underscores the severe consequences of living in a society that suppresses individual ambitions and desires. Her struggle and ultimate sacrifice serve as a powerful statement on the value of personal freedom and the high cost of losing it. We the Living is a poignant exploration of the clash between individualism and collectivism. Rand's narrative not only critiques the impact of totalitarianism on personal freedom but also serves as a testament to the enduring human spirit struggle against oppressive systems. Through Kira's journey, Rand underscores the inherent conflict between personal aspirations and state control, making a compelling case for the importance of individual rights and freedoms in the face of political oppression.